few uh, no. That's silly. Why do I say that? It was going really well and then I had to just ruin it with that. <sighs> okay, let's try this one more time. Take four or five. I'm not sure what we're on now, but Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look all about spring makeup. So when I think of spring makeup, you know, I really think I'm getting away from all the full coverage, heavy matte foundations, looking for something more where your skin can come through dewy, fresh, light, sheer, um, are just some words that come to mind when I think about skin for spring. When it, I think about eyes, I think about very light, fresh colors, pastel colors, nothing harsh or dramatic, you know, very little, if any, eyeliner, nothing star or dramatic when it comes to eyeliner. Very fluttery, light lashes. I'm wearing lashes number fours by MAC, but just very light, airy lashes. Highlight, uh, glossy, sheer lips. You know, for day to day, I think really pretty glossy, sheer lips are what it's all about. So if you want to learn how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. And as always, thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. So I've already moisturized my skin. I'm just going to spray a little Fix Plus by MAC. I've really been loving this product. Um, I use it in a few different ways, but I always spray my skin before I apply a foundation. So next I'm using the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I am a huge fan of this foundation. I didn't purchase it yet. I'm planning on, um, on it this week. I actually got a sample from Sephora because I cannot keep buying $50 foundations every time a new one comes out. Um, I have tons of samples I'm trying. If I love it, I go back and buy it. This is one I'll be getting. I'm not a typically luminous type of you know foundation girl but for spring it's all about lightweight skin out with the matte heavy full coverage in with something more sheer weightless beautiful this foundation still gives me the coverage that I want though so um, I definitely recommend this product for concealer, I'm using Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm not gonna be putting um, it all over, you know, I'm not doing the big triangle down my cheek. I'm not doing it in my forehead, down my nose. I'm really trying to keep the skin minimal. Um, I do use several products on the skin, but it's all about little bitty layers so that your skin just looks really weightless, really fresh. So I actually went to Nordstrom and I wanted to buy the Chanel Sol de Lay bronzer, but they sent me home with this, which is the Illuminator, and I didn't realize it till I sat down to film this video. Um, I decided to give it a try. My my idea was that if I loved it, I'd keep it and go back and buy the bronzer. But honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It's pretty, but after a few hours, it's just kind of gone and it's $50. So I actually went and exchanged it for the bronzer. Um, but what the bronzer I'm using now is the bronzer from the Smashbox Masterclass palette. I actually use this palette for most of my face and eye makeup. Um, I'm not doing a heavy contour in this look because again, it's very light. I don't want a lot of um, definition. Um, I don't want a heavy skin. I'm just setting everything with a little highlighter in the areas of my face that I want to be brighter. And I'm also using the highlighter from the Masterclass palette. for eyes. Let's get them prepped and primed. So I'm using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, one of my favorites, and I'm just using a 242 brush by MAC. Your finger does well too. I had this brush nearby so I thought I would use it. For my transition color, I'm using the Masterclass palette by Smashbox, and I'm using the shade, I think it's called Nude, but it's just a really great transition color, um, you know, just a warm matte mid-tone neutral shade. Um, I used all the shadows from this palette, but I gotta say this, this is not my favorite palette for eyeshadows. I said this in a video when I got this pa palette like six months ago. I like the bronzer and the highlighter and the blushes in this palette. The eyeshadows, I feel the payoff is kind of disappointing, um, and they don't really last really well. So. You probably have shades like this already at home. Um, this shade is uh, just a really soft peachy pink shimmery. Very, very, very pretty, very soft pretty. I feel like every cosmetic line has a shade just like this though, so you certainly don't need this palette for this makeup look. I am using that 242 brush because I, like I said, these shadows don't have a really intense payoff, so I wanna use that brush because it's gonna pick up and deposit a lot of color. Next, I'm gonna go in with another shade from the palette that's a little bit more pink. Um, still very shimmery, still very soft, but it definitely has more of that pretty pink um, tone to it. This color is called Lavender, and it's just a really pale, pale lavender lilac kind of color. 
and I'm just gonna layer it on top. I didn't initially plan on using this many colors for this look, but I got started and I just wasn't, you know, I just felt like I just kinda had to keep adding more because I wasn't getting a whole lot of color payoff. Um, now I'm just going in and I am blending the crease a bit. Um, I'm using a 217 brush by MAC and I'm getting a little bit more of that transition color because I used so many shadows on the lid, it did kind of mix in with that transition color and I wanted to keep that definition there. So use a brow highlight, of course. Um, I'm using one from the palette. It's just the soft, pale, kind of um, ivory color that comes in the palette. For brows, I'm going to fill them in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil first, just to give um, them a little bit of a shape. And then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Powder to just give them a bit more definition. This is my favorite brow pencil for the longest time, and I mean like 10 years, I was using Lingering uh, Pencil by MAC. And um, once I started doing YouTube, obviously you cannot avoid Anastasia Beverly Hills on YouTube because she is everyone's favorite. So I figured I would give it a try, and wow, I wish I had discovered it sooner. Best brow, brow pencil um, ever, even though I've only used one other for 10 years, so I don't really know how valid <laughs> or how cred credible that statement is, but I love it. Very, very uh, happy with my Anastasia Beverly Hills products. Okay, so now I'm going in with a pigment by MAC. This one is called Golden Air. I don't know if they still carry it or not. Melon is a very similar shade to this if they don't have this at the counter anymore. And I'm using a 242 brush. I did spray a little Fix Plus on it. I don't think you saw that on camera, um, just to help that pigment stick. But I'm just putting that in the inner corner in the first half of my eyelid, um, just to really, really brighten up and um, make that eyelid more metallic looking. It's just so pretty, especially when you're looking down or blinking, it just catches the light. It's just gorgeous. And I'm taking Lashes number fours by MAC and I'm just gonna pop those guys on. I'm not doing eyeliner on the top of my lashes. Um, I am keeping the eyes very soft um, and I don't want a lot of, uh, you know, harsh lines or heavy makeup. I noticed there was a little spot that I needed to blend out a bit better, so I just added some Fix Plus to my brush and blended that out. I'm gonna get that other little guy on. Get on there. Okay, so Mineralized Skin Finish Blush. This color has been my favorite lately. It's called Warm Soul by MAC, and it's a really, really pretty, warm, like apricot-y peach. Oh, it's so pretty. And the shimmer in this is just beautiful. It just lays on the skin like, oh, it's just gorgeous. It gives you a glow from within. And I'm still learning how to show product on camera. Yeah, we'll get that sooner or later. <laughs> so that's Mac and, uh, Mac and Prime. Prep and Prime Powder by MAC. Um, it's a sheer translucent powder and I'm just using that to set everything. Maybe it's the all, you know, I typically like matte foundations, but I felt the need to set everything a little bit. Um, and of course I'm grabbing my Tarte Inner Rim Brightening Pencil. I love this guy and I'm just gonna line the inner rim of my eyes to brighten my eye up and I actually already started my lower lash line but then I realized I didn't show you the shades so I came back to show you um, I grabbed two shadows one's bronze and one's like a taupey color and I mixed the two of them together and that's what my um, liner is on my lower lashes I didn't use a pencil or cream or anything I just used shadow for that wanted to keep everything really soft and then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna spray a little fix plus get a little bit more of that pigment and just highlight the inner corners of my eye just to give it that um, that pretty wow bright eyed factor. Let's just stretch this neck a little because doing makeup is tough work. Lips. So for lips, I'm using Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in Bouquet. I really, really like this product a lot. It's just a really pretty, pretty pink. I've used it in several videos before. I'm not using a lip liner. I want to keep the lips just soft. Um, so now I'm using a gloss and it has, it's just like a really pretty like kind of honey shimmer color um, and I'm actually gonna mix the pigment with the gloss. And you can do this with any of Max pigments. You can mix them with any gloss you have. If you have a clear gloss, that's a great way to add um, color to your gloss. Another cool thing you could do with pigments is mix them with nail polish. Um, that's a lot of fun too. So I'm just gonna put that on my lips, especially in the center of my lips to give more highlight and more of a pout. 
And then that completes the makeup look. So it's just very fresh, fun, and girly. It's perfect for spring. And of course I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes, so we're doing that right now. And then that does complete the look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, if you do recreate this look, I would love to see um, if you post on Instagram and hashtag Lisa J Makeup. I would love to see um, your interpretation of this. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.